Is this handsome fit guy the new Tinder swindler? Remember Simon Leviev? The subject of a Netflix documentary featuring women who all say he conned them out of more than $500,000 combined? I want to clear my name. I want to say to the world, this is not true. Now meet Rob Harris. Real estate agent Christina LaBarbiera saw his profile on the dating app Hinge and quickly swiped right. What was it about the profile that made you interested? Well, uh, first off, everything's about how attractive, right? If you're attracted to someone at first. And also I saw he was in real estate. You know, dog lover. Two weeks later, they went on their first date at an upscale seafood restaurant in New York City. What was the date like? It was just, it was laughter. I mean, we were there for like five hours, and then we just like drove around the city afterwards. Things moved quickly, and by four months, they were talking about moving to Miami together. He wants to be down there, I want to be down there. So I said, listen, if this did progress, it's something I would be open to. That's when Rob started asking Christina for money. If you can send me $7,500, I'll extend our Airbnb spot. I'll have $10,000 cash for you when you get here. You know I'll pay you back. I'm like, okay, why would he not? But she says he didn't pay her back, and he kept asking for more. I have to put the deposit on the yacht for our real estate networking event. Can you sell me $8,300? Which she did. And then this. I need you to Apple pay me like 5 k I lost all my blank. I don't have my wallet, my ID, anything. Blanked up situation. I love you so much. Then came the biggest red flag of all. In text messages Christina shared with us, Rob told her he had been pulled over by police and arrested on an outstanding warrant and needed bail money. Do you or anyone you know have $12,106 in cash? Here's the receipt from her wire transfer. I know even as you tell this story today, you must understand how, to the audience, you sound so gullible. Yeah, I get that. But they didn't, they weren't in it. He, he exploited me, essentially. You know, everything. It, it was targeted. It was four months before he started asking for money. He knew what he was doing. All told, how much money did he get from you? $71,000. $71,000? Yep. That's a lot of money. Yeah. There must have been somewhere along the way, maybe in the $30,000 mark, where you said, there's a red flag well, going I up here. Well, I started to get, yeah, no, I mean, I did start to get nervous. But again, you think that you can trust the person that you're supposedly going to spend the rest of your life with. You think you'll ever see your, your $70,000? No, probably not. But it will be a great day when I can see him doing the walk in handcuffs.